Wilson! There you are! Hey everybody, Jim Williams here. Coming to you from not the beautiful paradise of Central Florida, but I'm in the beautiful paradise of Central Indiana. You hear that noise? That's the road noise of travel. And today, I'm riding along in Large Marge. This is my first trip in the cockpit of Large Marge with Adam the Woo. Hello. And we're on our way over yonder. And we'll be there in a while. One of the beautiful things about a day like today is the 62 degree weather and the incredible breeze. Kokomo. This is a park here in Kokomo. We got a gazebo. Where's my hand? There's my hand. <laughs> gazebo over here on the left. And here is a stage for staging things. Outdoor performances of some sort, I suppose. And we have the bleachers for some... Bleaching? <laughs> I was going to say sitting, but bleaching will work. Yes, yes. And over here in the outer areas, we have... Look like they're staging up some uh, little pavilion tents. Uh, getting ready for some activity probably tomorrow here in the park. Some event in the park. And what a gorgeous day it is today. Probably it'll be that way tomorrow as well. We're making our way down here to a little part of the playground. I wanted to make mention of my hat here. Someone made a comment about my Coke hat. Actually, it's a diet Coke hat. My dad worked for many years, about 22 years, for a local Coca-Cola bottling company in the little town I grew up in and retired from there when he uh, turned 65, 66, something like that. And I've just always been partial to Coke products, specifically when they came out with Diet Coke back in whatever year that was, I don't remember. The slogan that year for the brand new maiden voyage of Diet Coke, the slogan was, the advertising slogan, just for the taste of it. And that has been the reason I like it forever since. That's for the taste of it. Nothing tastes quite like a Diet Coke. Diet Coke. Gorilla. You've already named the gorilla? Yes, I named this gorilla. This is the gorilla that Adam is talking about here. What do you think I have named? Well, I was not in earshot, so I don't know what you were I have, calling. I have, I have not revealed it yet, but we are in the town of Kokomo. So what would you think the gorilla's name is? Coco the gorilla. Exactly. <laughs> Am I which, good or what? Which is a real gorilla, so it's not the first gorilla named Kokomo. It's Coco. But do you know the significance of the real Coco the gorilla, who is still alive, 45 years old, very well known for... Being, doing one certain thing that a gorilla normally does not do. Do you know what that is? I do not know. Da, 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 da. Not, he, never, he never went on Jeopardy. Coco with a gorilla. Not this Coco from Kokomo, Indiana. But the real Coco, the gorilla, was one of the first gorillas that could read actual sign language. Over 1,000 signs, if someone was giving sign language to the gorilla, Coco the gorilla, would be able to understand the signals and could interact. Pretty incredible, right? The real Coco, not not the. I know you're very confused. I the real confused. Coco, the gorilla. How would they know that he was understanding this? <laughs> Which I don't know. Did they speak gorilla? Who in there speaks gorilla? Well, it's not. It's not. It's not the regular terminology of a gorilla. It's the sign language. See right there, he's giving you the sign. Fist bump him. All right. That was that was that was very long-winded to get to that point, but I think we accomplished it. You did it well. You did it very well. Thank yes. You. Thank you. Across the street. 
Wow. Of all the times I've seen Adam with this monstrosity of a mantis here in Kokomo, I never dreamed, never even imagined that I would one day come here in the flesh and see it for myself. Quick question. When you stop, do you stop all the way? When you stop, always be, be, be prepared to stop all the way. All the way. I don't know if you can hear me or not because of the wind blowing against the camera. But when I was a teenager, we had a railroad trestle very similar to this over a river back in Mississippi where I grew up. I had a friend who would climb up the railing and walk the distance of the trestle on that top railing up there, balancing himself all the way to the other side. I never had the courage to attempt such a thing. Never did. Hey, just a quick shout out to Nick and Chloe. Nick and Chloe, hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye. Great.